Hi Scorpio, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot reading. This is for the week of December 27th through January 3rd for all Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy New Year to all of you this week and if you are new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday and then typically Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you could always check back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. You could watch a different part of your chart. Or you could even watch an older reading if the title speaks to you on some level. I, uh, about a week ago, I posted uh, readings for, or actually not even a week ago, um, 2021. Okay, so if you haven't watched those yet, you might enjoy taking a look at those as well. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join us and become a subscriber. That'll let you know, too, when new readings are posted. So let's get the guidance here for Scorpio, please. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Scorpio need to know, please? All right. So we'll do our tarot here. Then we'll use the Angel Answers Oracle cards, too. And we begin here with the Ten of Wands, Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, King of Pentacles, Temperance, Ten of Cups, Five of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. So you have here Sagittarius, Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You've got all the elements, don't you? You've got fire. Yeah, you, you do. You've got all the elements here. Well, I feel like somebody here is in the process of letting go of something. And what you let go of, you won't miss. It's really about the great paradox of letting go. You know, and, and we grieve because in our mind we have a model of what we think things should be like. And maybe somebody leaves or if something changes, a job is, is removed and, you know, the whole thing crashes down. But you are in this process, if you haven't gotten there already, of accepting it, getting clarity of thought and healing from it and coming back together. Um, so with this Ten of Wands, it's the beginning of a cycle. Tens are a new cycle beginning. And it feels like you're going home to put down all this burden. You know, maybe some of you are literally taking a trip too. You know, if you've got you've got a little bit of time off and you're wanting to go home for a little bit and just see your people, that may be it too. But it does feel like life has been heavy. You know, like life has been pressing in on you and it's time to come away from that. You do have love here. So for some of you, this may be very much related to job and finance kind of stuff. You've got nice money aspects coming in and a new opportunity here too. So if it's in terms of a job, some kind of a new opportunity or goal for yourself, it's that's going to go really well. The Queen of Cups comes in and she's very intuitive and so are you by nature. So it's you in your purest form using all of those gifts, that instinct, knowing, you know, those intuitive hits that you get, like I should go here. You know, I think I'm going to go here today. I'm going to try this coffee shop instead. That kind of stuff are here for a reason and they're guiding you. It's all about you being guided. You are open though. It's an interesting reading because I've mentioned this before. I watched a little piece by Ram Das and he talked about people going through life opening and closing their hearts like an accordion and how life hurts. And so we close back up again. And the real key to it all is to stay open. Well, you're open here. And you're kind of this conduit for energy and it's flowing through you in a very harmonious way and there's healing through it all so for some of you there's a new relationship here if it was an old one that ended i get kind of like two things a new relationship or somebody who's already in one and all this pain and stuff is about a job and finance <clears throat> it's always something right so the three of swords is a card of disappointment it can be a card of betrayal too, but it, it in, in a job situation, maybe that is part of it where somebody that you trusted didn't have a commitment back. You know, they didn't have, they didn't keep you when you, you couldn't believe they would do that. So with this, so it's acceptance of the situation and moving forward, you know, and it's getting away from this sort of rainy day 
And knowing every day is a new beginning. There's an opportunity every single day and waking up and saying, you know what? Something really cool is going to happen today. I don't know what it is. So I can't wait to find out. And moving forward. So the King of Pentacles shows up and there's no fear about money in this card, especially if it's this is a job related thing. There's no fear in terms of new resources and growth. So if there's, especially if you've been in the restaurant industry and things have been halted and it's been scary because there's bills to be paid and it's this continuous ping pong match, the King of Pentacles shows up to give you financial stability. It, may, it might even be some kind of a loan or a, I get absolved of, like absolved of some kind of a bill where somebody gives you credit for something, if that's you, or maybe it's your partner too. But the King of Pentacles also is an advisor. So there may be somebody who's coming in to give you some advice, some counsel. And I, I honestly feel like they've got this beautiful, soothing energy about them. You know, if it's some kind of an advisor, it brings everything together and allows you to heal and allows you to move forward in a way that brings you joy. Um, so with this, it may have been in the other order. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. So temperance is a card of healing and being easy. It's like wearing the world like a loose spinning garment. And so, you know, maybe you make some adjustments. If you've been going to an expensive gym and it costs you a hundred bucks a month, maybe you join PFIT and you're going to Planet Fitness for a hundred dollars a year. And you go, you know, it's not too bad here. They've got a lot of equipment. I can kind of get in and get out. I can, you know, do things virtually if I need to. This is not such a bad adjustment. But it's that kind of thing. It's being in alignment enough to see solutions. You know, it's also Archangel Michael. So knowing that you're being protected, that the angels hear you. So ask, ask for that team of angels. I need a finance committee. Or if it's love, say, I need a group of matchmakers here. Direct me towards my real love other than yourself. But it's also about having conscious contact with your higher source, your higher self. And so he dips his his foot into this pool of consciousness, into the seat of the soul, and you're connected. And the energy runs back and forth between these cups. So some of you too, this there may be an outpouring here, like an emotional thing here, where maybe you just have a little bit of a breakdown, but it's a breakthrough. You've got a new dawn here and a new day, and this is really to an energy of galvanizing people and bringing them together. And I see it here with this Ten of Cups, the Happy Family card. There's a reunion happening here, and it's very celebratory. It's an energy of knowing that those tough times are behind you, knowing that there's a new dawn, a new day, and the rainbow, rainbow brings this feeling of calm, of peace, of tranquility, but it, again, it's a, a sign from the universe that the storms are over. And it's great appreciation for it. So as you move forward, this is also about having that real appreciation for the things around you that are stable and steady and consistent. So there, again, there may be a new offer here, especially for a job. If you've been and you're the only person that is got an income, that something like that, it will be there for you. But it's too... Again, for some of you, it's it's more about love and bringing together, bringing people together again. So with the five of wands here, this is a change, and it really is about leaving behind that conflict. You've accepted it with the three of swords. You're ready to put it down with the ten of wands, and here you're just kind of leaving it behind. It's just sort of low-level drama and conflict, and there is a change here. You've got a new cycle here a couple of times. And so it's wanting to be away from that and making up your mind that this is enough, you know, kind of putting your foot down and saying, I'm just not going to participate in this. You don't have to attend every fight you're invited to. And the tarot is your best friend that warns you. So for some of you, there may be somebody here that tries to pick kind of a low level fight with you and you're not in the mood for it. So with the Ace of Swords, you have better things to focus on. This is communication coming forward. It's clarity of thought. And I do feel like there's a conversation that gives you momentum into if it's a new job or even a new relationship, but it begins something new for you. It's a new chapter here. This is also about a new goal. For some of you, it may be about financial stuff. If you're getting 
into a pocket of time where you're starting to think about retirement and all of a sudden Susie Orman is on the t channel or Susie Orman is on the TV, that's not a mistake. You know, there's no coincidences. It's like, how did I find this? Well, the universe says, here's an answer. You asked for a finance committee. Well, here's part of it. Um, so this is also, it can be about health too. So if that three of swords represents something else for you and it's a health-related thing that you're recovering from, you are on the road to recovery here too. And this is also about sticking to goals. So if you have some kind of a program that's like physical therapy or something else assigned to you, you'll do really well with it because you have the sticking power with that. So, um, you know, these shorter readings too can be, they can be somewhat short pockets of time too. It's really, time's such a funny thing when you're dealing with sacred divination. So be aware of that, especially like I said, if you haven't watched that 2021 reading, that might give you a little bit more insight. This could be something pretty minor, but um, yeah, it's kind of an interesting mix of somebody who's had some challenges, but there is a solution here. So we have here, let go, okay? So whatever the three of swords is, they tell you it's time to accept it and let go and let God, you know, or let the universe. The universe wants to interact with you and bring you fun things. The situation will improve. I actually like this for this reading because it does feel like it's in the state of, of going towards something better, opening up, expansion, and getting more, you know? And, and as I look at, too, you know, the waves and the water in these, the seat of the soul and the water around the queen and all that new growth. There's so much wave to it. That's all about ascending vibration, raising and lifting your own vibration. Helpful people. So the right people show up. So whatever it is that is going on with you, if you need something, the right people will be there. I said that you can invite a committee to work with you and they work through your dreams and through all those synchronicities within the next few weeks. So things are definitely moving forward for you, especially if you've had some burden, some energy here. They say yes, so things are going forward for you, Scorpio. And again, you have beautiful aspects coming in for 2021. So this may be just a short, short little pocket of time here, but I love you and I will be back again soon.